Hello, this is Barbara Nicolato, Nick Snacks from Del Bellos Designs. This trifold card is a 5 by 7 inch size that I've adapted from a smaller version I saw online done by Jennifer McGuire. The pick of a window is in a heart shape, but can also be cut into a circle or an oval. Besides a Valentine's Day theme, it can be changed to a wedding theme or any other you desire. Let's take a look at the materials I'll be using for this project. First off, my decorative cardstock is going to come from Craft Consortium, and it's called Bloom and Wild. Lots of gorgeous floral prints with solid backsides to them. And from this pad, I've chosen this particular pattern. And I made sure this piece contained a pink and a red rose because I'm going to use red paper in this project. This sheet is cut to four and a half by six and a half. I've also used cardstock. This is red, and this is an A7 size card, which means it measured five by seven. It can easily be made by taking uh, a seven by 10 inch sheet and scoring at the five inch mark. This sheet is seven by five and a half. It has a score mark down five inches, all the way down, and bent over so that this particular tab measures half inch. I'm going to also be using black for a mat. This is four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and also the same size white card stock, which will be for the sentiment inside the card, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'll be using uh, the Replenish Lavinia stencil. I'll be using uh, three particular Lavinia stamps. Lavinia 266 called Stargazing. Lavinia 152 Stars Miniature. And Lavinia 024 Fairy Dust is Like Love. And it reads, Fairy Dust is Like Love. It creates magic whenever you give it away. With this project, I'll also be using stamp blocks for the stamps, pencil and ruler, a Lavinia blending brush. I'll be using two inks, Versafine Claire in Nocturne, and Elements by Lavinia in Emperor Red. I will also be using red glitter pens, some white gel pens, and this is Wink of Stella in clear. A Stampin' Up Punch, from which I cut these white paper ribbons. And if you have something like this, or if you can do it with a die to make a decoration for the edges of the front, that would be nice. But if you don't have it, it's optional. You don't really have to have this. I have a die cut machine and I'm going to be using these two hearts and they come from a stamping up set called Be Mine Stitched Dies. My uh, often used art glitter designer dries clear adhesive glue with this small tip. I think it's called the ultra fine metal tip, which fits and gives me a very small bead of glue. It's also very useful. I took a sheet of scrap black, and this is a glossy type of cardstock, and I used the two dies which fit together nicely. And I cut them at the same time through my machine. And what I ended up cutting was a heart, sort of like a frame, and it's stitched. I'm going to put this aside, and this will be used on the front of the card later. The next thing I did is I took this card that is uh, 
five and a half inches. And I came in from, here's, here's the fold here, the tab. I came in from this side two and a half inches and I made a little mark and I did the same thing on the bottom, two and a half inches. And then I came down three and a half and put a little dot there to mark the center. I'm going to cut along these lines. The next thing I want to do is um, these are going to go along the side. And I was just thinking, they are optional, but if you don't have a little puncher that makes any kind of design, you could also decorate this with a little bit of lace. That would probably look really pretty. Taking the black mat and my floral paper. I'm going to glue it. All right, next I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to make sure the score line is on the left side. And I'm going to take the largest of my two dies, which is this one here, and I'm going to try to center it, and I'm going to tape it that way before I run it through my die cut machine. Again, I'm eyeballing this as to where I want to place it. Notice, even though this is purple um, low-tack tape, I'm going to have it stick to the inside because this cutout sheet is not going to be part of the card when I cut this. So I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine. I'll be right back. So here's the heart that I cut out. Actually, that's not damaged at all by the tape, and I can use this in a future project. And this is what I have. I'm going to pull this card out now. And this particular side this tab here will take the glue and it's going to be glued underneath the front of the card like so. All right, I'm going to make sure I line up the top and the bottom and I'm going to make sure I don't go over the crease mark. Now this card will close by flipping the right side down and the left flap over. And so underneath, on what would actually be the back side of a normal card, I'm going to glue the decorative paper that's been matted onto the black. The next thing I want to do is I want to cut a peak hole in here with the smaller heart. It's going to be going through one, two, and three. Three thicknesses of paper. I want that centered nicely, so I'm going to close the card and do my best to center it. And now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. I'm back and I had to use a paper shim underneath my cutting pad so that I could apply more pressure to get the die to go through three sheets at once. Again, this can be used for another project, so I'm going to set that aside. Thank you. 
this white sheet is going to go on the inside and I'm going to pencil mark very lightly where this heart falls because I want to make sure my image is going to be centered inside of that. Before I stamp anything on this, I'm going to use Emperor Red and my blending brush and this Replenish stencil. And the reason why I chose this is because in the design, there are little heart shapes distorted here and there. Now, the thing with this is I'm not going to, I'm going to try to keep it very light very subtle look. I'm going to start on the end. There we go. This stencil wipes off real easy. This is just a uh, baby wipe. There we go. I'm putting some paper underneath just to give it a little more resilience. It seems to stamp a little better that way. And I'm going to um, try to position these so stargazing so that they're centered in the heart best I can. There we go. Give that a few moments for the ink to soak into the paper. That didn't come out as dark as I would have liked it, liked it to, so I'm going to take a Sharpie and go over this. I'm going to place the sentiment on the inside. After you're sure that this ink is dry, make sure you remember to erase the light pencil marks that we made. I'm going to embellish this a little bit using a red glitter pen, a white gel pen, and some clear wink of Stella. There we go. This is going to be placed inside here. Before I do, let me point out that This part could be run through your die cut machine using an embossing folder. This particular one happens to be five by seven, so it would fit this type of card. But you can run it through like that, and that will emboss the flower design onto the cardstock. Again, this is optional. I'm just going to do it to show you what it would look like. Yes, with Valentine's Day being right around the corner, I used an old stamp that I had in my stash and stamped it and figured this could be made into a Valentine's Day card for someone that you love or hold dear to your heart. So I'm just going to uh, put that on. Again, you could use this for a wedding card and stamp a different sentiment or leave the sentiment off altogether. All right, so I've got a little glue on the inside here. There you go. You open it up to this, and then you open it up to that. I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial. 
Please see below the video for a complete list of supplies and visit us at Del Bellows for most of your crafting needs. We also have two Facebook groups we encourage you to join. One is Del Bellows Designs Lounge where you can post your creations using your Lavinia stamps. The other is Del Bellows Designs a la carte, where you can post your creations using other stamps from Del Bellows. Have a great crafting day.